Yeah, first of all, I, I would like to thank uh, uh, the fans in Phuket who have been supporting our nation team. Uh, also, in the same time, uh, talking about the last, uh, last night uh, match uh, incident, I have to express my sincere apologies to the fans and to the public also that uh, the, uh, the, the incident uh, shouldn't be happened. So, uh, but I mean, this is football, it can be happened. I mean, uh, uh, yesterday both teams are having a very uh, strong temper and hot temper. So I, I think this is, uh, but I mean, in any case, I have to apologize uh, to the fans, uh, especially the Phuket fans. But I mean, they are so good. They, they give a very big hand to the both team, and I think uh, we, will, we will keep this as a good lesson to, to our, our team. Can you clarify, though, whether the referee, Thai referee, by the way, um, did want to send off the Lebanese player, number nine, or whether he, uh, he, he changed his decision to just give him a yellow card and let him stay on the field? Uh, they did not, uh, they, they, uh, he did not give any card uh, when the incident appeared. Uh, but, I mean, uh, uh, after the walk, out of uh, the team, then uh, he, uh, I think when the, the player walked in, then he made the decision. So I think uh, this is, uh, I mean, uh, it might be, it might be a decision uh, entirely belong to the, the referee, but I think they, at that moment, I mean, it's, 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 it's very difficult and very hard uh, for him to to make, uh, I mean, the, the decision. I mean, if you if you make the 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 wrong decision, then I mean, the game must, might be uh, suspended or stopped, and then uh, the, the, the Lebanese, the you know, I mean, uh, this is uh, quite difficult for them. So I, I I don't want to blame anybody, but I, I like to take the responsibility of. Uh, uh, on behalf of uh, the team and on behalf of the football association. You know. So there'll still be Thai referees during the final with Denmark, Thailand on Friday evening. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I want, uh, as I said, I mean, uh, if they did not do anything wrong, what's wrong uh, with, with, uh, with uh, staging uh, them to, to officiate? You know. So you're hoping for a good final? Yeah, I think uh, it should be a very exciting and a good final. But I, uh, let's hope that uh, we have a good match on the final. All right. The game, the incident. But first, the game itself. Yeah, but well, unfortunately, um, like anything in, um, in life, in football, I mean, the, the good side, what I call the good side, is our, our really good play, which was excellent, um, especially for the, um, the first half. And then um, the incidents at the end are unfortunate. Uh, what I'd say about my players, I think it's, it's always easy to talk about your own team. Um, I think we lack discipline. You know, um, certain things happened out there uh, in the football pitch, which do happen, but you've got to concentrate on keep your discipline. And we lost our discipline. If you lose your discipline, you lose your capacity to play good football. So I've impressed on the players. I said, listen, you know, you're playing good football. People will try to put you off your side. It's up to us to be professional enough to keep our discipline. And that was the message. Uh, the good side of our game, the passing and the movement, and uh, the very good play we, we had is unfortunately overshadowed uh, a couple of regrettable incidents. Uh, the purpose of doing that, um, I just I would just say from our point of view, you know, if things happen on the football pitch, you've got to be professional 
and disciplined enough to handle that. You know, it, it, as you go on in football, you, and I'm not saying it was intimidation last night, I'm saying I've played in games where there has been intimidation, but believe it or not, I never ever got sent off in my professional career, and I've got to impress on the players, you've got to stay disciplined, you've got to stay disciplined, and if you are disciplined, you play your football. Do you think the Lebanese player, number nine, though, should have been sent off? He was only given a yellow card, and then there was another incident in the game he was involved. I think it was a, I think it was a difficult game for the officials, and I'm, I'm loath uh, to criticise officials. Um, you know, they've got their job to do. I can't comment on it. I mean, people might say that I lost the discipline of my team, which, you know, they could rightly say. So that concerns me, and uh, and that's what I've been pressed on the players. You know, whatever the. The Lebanese coach says, or the Lebanon coach says to his team, that's up to him. The officials have got their job to do, I've got my job to do. Yeah. I was diplomatic, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> the match is over now, you're in the final with Denmark. Yes. Which, um, how do you hope for that? Well, it's, uh, that's the main objective, to get to the final. You know, and, and, and the Danes are obviously a um, physical European side who played very well. I think it's, uh, it's a younger side, and I knew some of the players, you know, the goalkeeper played for Manchester City, but I was very impressed with them. And uh, tactically, it'll be a, a, a different game for us. And uh, Morten Olsen, who was a fine player, the, the Danish coach, uh, will be a difficult game for us. But I, I think it'll be a really good game of football. And um, we, if we play well and they play well, I think it'll be a close game. And I just hope we, we, the luck's with us and we can win it. Now, the win, the winner for the, for the people, I think the King's Cup is very dear to the heart. Yeah, you've done well 